The allocation service provided by 3G Digital Venue supports decision-making process when relocating social distance season ticket holders. The main objective is to relocate them based on criteria and to make decisions when a member cannot be rearranged in his usual area. We are going to work with two different simulations that exemplify different scenarios. In this first simulation, we've applied a social distance of four feet. To see how to run a simulation, please visit the social distance editor video. To perform a simulation, users need to upload a member's file and a business rules file. The member's file needs to meet the following requirements. One, to have group IDs to identify and maintain groups together. Two, price category of each season ticket holder and three, seating priority, which will define the order of priority for the allocation of members. The lower the number, the more priority the members will have, and therefore, the more likely they are to occupy a seat in their corresponding zone. The business rules document shows the correlation between sections and price categories. In this demo, we will work with six sections and three price categories. In this case, on document one, We've marked all the season ticket holders in category number two. So the system will try to seat everybody on sections 13 and 14, which are labeled with category two. In this case, sections 15 and 16 are category one, and 11 and 12 are category three. Now we can start our allocation process. Once you are on the simulation, click on new allocation. As mentioned before, both documents must be attached in order to proceed season ticket holder list, and the file of price categories by section. In this case, the process of allocation has been completed in 100%, which means that all the members have been successfully allocated. To edit, we must click on Go to Allocation. The blue dots we see on the screen are all the seats that have a member assigned. By hovering on the chairs, we can see the account ID that has been assigned to that particular chair. This means that in the simulation performed and with the list of subscribers, everyone can occupy space and no one is left out. This is an ideal scenario. Now you can download the final results by clicking on Allocation Results. A zip file will be downloaded. On the assigned file, we will obtain the same seat and ticket holder list, but with three additional columns describing which seat has been assigned to each member. The other file shows the information of the unassigned members. As we saw before, there are none. Now we are going to run a second simulation. This simulation is configured with a social distance of six feet. As the distance is bigger, there will be less groups available. This scenario is more common, as we anticipate that not all the members will fit in this new distance. If we run the allocation process, we will see the following. We can see that only 56% of the members have been reallocated. 108 members were able to reallocate, but 81 were left out of the simulation. In blue, we see the 108 seats occupied by the members, and to see those that could not be fitted, we must download the allocation file and open the unassigned document. The club has several options in this scenario. The first one is to create a different simulation and create a file with only the discarded, creating different waves of members. The other option is to seat those unassigned members in a different price category. To perform the last action, we will use the upgrade and downgrade options. First, we will test by performing an upgrade to those partners that have not been relocated. Therefore, the members will be assigned a section with a higher category. By performing this operation, 87% of the members will be reallocated. Let's now try the second option and downgrade the left out members. With this operation, we relocated 87% of the members. We will now select the upgrade and downgrade options to make sure all the members have a seat. Now we have all the members seated. Some of the season ticket holders will get an upgrade and others will get a downgrade. This will depend on the criteria assigned to each member. As you can see, there are many options that are fully customizable by the users of the allocator tool. This service will allow to make as many simulations as needed and to change the parameters at any time.